Music theory is very much the marmite of music. Some people love it, some people hate it. Yet we all enjoy talking about our favourite musicians or our favourite pieces of music. And if you're a musician, you may enjoy talking about gear or equipment or a certain type of tone that you particularly like. Yet with music theory, people seem so quick to dismiss it. And I think this is true for musicians as well as non-musicians. Well, first of all, let's talk about what music theory is. According to Wikipedia, music theory is the study of the practices and possibilities of music. I think that's a pretty good definition. But I've had conversations with friends about whether in this song is this guitar solo too long, or was this artist influenced by someone else? Aren't these all discussions relating to the practices and possibilities of music? But I think this is more musicology than music theory. When we think of music theory, we tend to think of something else. In his book, The Music Lesson, Victor Wooten suggests that music theory can be broken down into many different aspects, only one of which is actually to do with notes. This note theory is what people often think is the entirety of music theory. If I were to ask you to improvise with me, your first thought might be, what's the key? Or what notes can I play? And what notes can I not play? And I think it's this element of music theory that is so off-putting to some people. And so if this is true, why don't people like talking about note theory? The one area where music theory gets criticised the most is its role in creativity and composition. And I think it's definitely true that music doesn't come from somewhere intellectual. Some of my favourite songwriters, like Brian Wilson, Paul McCartney or Paul Simon, they all say that music comes from somewhere else, as if the songs just fall out of the sky. I believe that songwriting is an unconscious thing. I, I don't think that anybody can really concentrate on music and make, write music. I think it comes from a higher place in your mind. I, I, I mean, I'm almost sure of that. And I think that's the problem that music theory has. It's seen as this way of trying to intellectualize the creative process that should be beyond, or at least separate from, logical thought. So why do some people become so fascinated with music theory? One of my favourite videos online is this interview between June Lee and Jacob Collier. And when I first saw it a few years ago, it blew my mind. The idea of Lydian not stopping it at the root when you arise like do. Jacob understood these musical ideas so fluently, and yet he was so enthusiastic about music. I imagine with his perfect pitch he can see behind the curtain on nearly any piece of music, yet he still has this massive enthusiasm for creating. One of my favourite ways of looking at music is as a language. This is something Victor Wooten is really passionate about, and it really opened my eyes when I first saw him talk about this. There's a great video he did for a TED talk where he talks about this idea, about how music is just like a language, a way of communicating ideas. Although many musicians agree that music is a language, it is rarely treated as such. Many of us treat it as something that can only be learned by following a strict regiment under the tutelage of a skilled teacher. It's this way of trying to translate something that's vague and abstract into something that's comprehensible to somebody else. Musicians want to share ideas, and music theory is this way of translating this idea into something that someone else can understand. So perhaps music theory would be better called music language or music translation. People will often say that Paul McCartney couldn't read music, as if this was the reason why he was such a great songwriter. Because if he didn't know what the rules were, then he was just creating from someplace else. It wasn't something intellectual, it was a really intuitive process for him. This is true to some extent. He was certainly able to write some amazing songs, and I'm sure it came from a really intuitive place. But I don't think it's because he didn't know how to read music, or he didn't know lots of music theory. He did know some, you know, he knew certain chords, and he would share this with John Lennon. And this is music theory, this is note theory. He's translating an idea that he has, and communicating that idea to somebody else. So I think as musicians, we should look to music theory as a form of communication, a way of translating ideas that we have that we want to share with other people. And it shouldn't be seen as this barrier to creativity. As Debussy said, works of art make rules. Rules do not make works of art. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos.